Hey, it's the Turbinian Hero here, and we're playing some more Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. And we are headed to the frozen base on Siberius to chase after that thief. And here we are. So let's check out our weapon vendor here. See if there's any more weapons to get. There's not, aside from the synthenoids, which we already knew about. I guess I'll buy some ammo while I'm here. Might as well. So yeah, right off the bat, or I guess not quite, because we gotta fight these guys first. Or we can have our little gun fight these guys. Yeah, these little, uh, these things here only spawn so many enemies. They're not endless. Whoa, yeah, and these guys actually shoot fire at you now. So yes, their attacks are much more ranged. But now to get to what I was trying to get to earlier. Uh, right away here, go around this garage. And we have another Dan Johnson reference. That is Dan Johnson's face on this snowman here. Or rather, it is not a snowman, but a snow Dan and you get a skill point for destroying it. I'm pretty sure the skill point is called You Can Break a Snowdan or something like that. Let's just look it up quick. Yeah, you can break a snowdan. Destroy the snowdan. Anyways, so... Uh, you can see a platinum bolt up in that little room up there. But we don't really have an easy way to get up there right now. Uh, let's give our mini turrets some use here. Alright, they got a little bit of use. It looks like my Seekers are going to level up before my Mini Turrets, which is weird because the Mini Turrets are way more useful. I mean, the Seekers are pretty darn good too. Gosh darn it. You got to make sure that these actually land on the ground. The other one I threw bounced off the bad guy and flew into the abyss. Anyways, so here we've got an elevator we could go down, but rather than riding the elevator, let's jump around and fly down onto this building here. There's no other way that you can get up here. And we will use this as an opportunity to get past this fence. Because if we do that, we can find another Platinum Bolt over here. We haven't even collected the Platinum Bolt that we saw earlier yet. So, let's actually go back and get that Platinum Bolt. Now, if we head over this way, we are going to have some, like, Blade Ball guys to fight here. That we can just destroy some of which with a nanotech uh, upgrade.
But now here's that elevator that we didn't go down. And if we use our tractor beam, we can take this little thing and take it up the elevator with us. And that is exactly what we need to get to that platinum bolt we saw first. Let's us get up here. And the platinum bolt is right here. Anyways, let's head back down. There we go. That landed over there. I'm not even sure if I threw one the first time. Nice, they're shooting at that ship. Which, can I actually destroy one of those now without uh, using a nanotech boost? They're attacking the thing. There we go, I destroyed one myself, rather than from using a nanotech boost. Will that be put in our bestiary now? I wanna see, it should be in help here. Yeah, our Monsterpedia. No, it is not. I guess those ships just don't get put into your Monsterpedia for some reason. Weird. Anyways, we should have another chance to use a vendor right up here. Which is good, because we are actually running low on ammo for the weapons that we're using. Got like a big garage there that this vehicle must have come out of. And yeah, this uh, little teleporter will bring you back to the start. Now, actually, I noticed that we do have enough bolts to buy the synthenoids. So I'm going to do that. And they didn't automatically activate. Interesting. So I guess let's change our quick select around here. We don't really need our sniper. That one wasn't useful super often anyways. And we'll use our synthenoids in a little bit here. First, let's go on to the convoy here. And we are moving. So the synthenoids work similarly to the mini turret glove. Except rather than putting a gun on the ground, you've got flying robots that follow you. They are the... They are basically the next generation of sand mice and the, the glove of doom from the first game. And they are precursors to everyone's favorite Mr. Zircon. But yeah, so it, it can be just kind of nice just like getting your synthenoids out and your mini turret uh, glove out. And just de destroy everything without doing any fighting. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, hey, we've got the thief here. Let's fire as many guns at him as we can. Alright, the thief's gone. Yeah, this is one of those bosses that you do in segments. 
So moving forward. And no going back. Yeah, it's super overpowered to have both of these things. It's kind of ridiculous. Granted, they don't have the strongest firepower. But the fact that you can just have tons of things shooting your enemy at once. Yeah, and we just crashed, but the fact that you can have tons of things shooting... Hey, it's Death Mountain. But yeah, the fact that you can have tons of things shooting your enemy at once, while you can just focus entirely on dodging... That is... I mean, it's, it is legitimately pretty overpowered. It's kind of ridiculous. Now, I'm not sure if you can actually find Synthenoid ammo. I would think that you could, but I feel like throughout Ratchet and Clank history, there's been some weird exceptions to some things, and I can't remember if the Synthenoids were one of those weird exceptions. And so, yeah, we could return to our ship from here, and then warp back here whenever. But we want to stay here and take this thief out. Ha! You've lost, Megacorp. Take your imperialistic eco-fascism to another dimension. Say goodbye to your franken best. Come on, Frank. Too slow, you corporate laggy. <laughs> And here we go. We're finally fighting our main villain, the Thief. And for such an epic battle, why would we do any of the fighting ourselves? You had us worried for a moment. Do you suppose we should stop him? Not worth it. We got what we came for. Let's just get that little guy back to Mr. Fizzwidget. Ratchet? Spank? Is that you? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment is safe and in our possession. <gasps> Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely munificent! You two are a galoptious team! We were glad to assist, sir. We just need coordinates to our next rendezvous point. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Here's a little pack talk on the fragility. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. A tireless drum major leading the galaxy on its march of progress. Come tour our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is our history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the automated management team, thereby eliminating costly upward mobility. And all the while, making your life richer. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. Our march continues to the tune of progress and profitability. Call Investor Relations today. Is that facility still operational, sir? 
Alas, no. But it's steeped in hysterics. I've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer. We'll see you there. Hey, there's Mr. Fizzwidget. What happened? Everything's fine. There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the, uh, delivery? Terribulous! Come, gentlemen, there is precious little time. Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? He did that on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well... <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. Yep, and now we are... stranded... in a cave... on a desert planet. Also, a few things to point out. First of all, our first mission was automatically completed before we could even look at the message for the first mission. So who knows what the description of that mission would have been. And also, the game uh, kind of cheated here. Because we still have full ammo on our heavy lancer, even though he used it during that cutscene. Also, Come on, Mr. Fizzwidget. I paid Raritanium for some good upgrades on that ship that... I mean, they weren't the greatest upgrades, but still, I didn't get a chance to show them off yet. Now, anyways, we have two more weapons available here, but we cannot afford either one of them. And we are going to need a lot of bolts to actually buy those, but... Uh, this planet actually has a lot of bolts for us, so... Yeah, more on that later. I was trying to hit the boxes game. Also, a lot of the enemies on this planet have a pretty decent amount of health. Yeah, the enemies on this planet are pretty hardy. So that's something to keep in mind. I mean, maybe not those bugs, but... Uh, these guys and other enemies in this level definitely have a lot of health. But speaking of which... That nanotech over there looks different from our normal nanotech. It actually heals twice as much as a normal uh, piece of nanotech would heal. So that is pretty cool. So we've got some spawners here, which we definitely want to get rid of. Darn it, because I turned when I was trying to throw that. Uh, it ended up getting thrown into the lava. Nice job, Synthenoids. You went right for the spawners like you were supposed to.
Alright, I want to clear out as much enemies as we can, of course, because that's what you do in a game where you get both money and experience from fighting enemies. Now, though, we got uh, some more platforming. In this, look, look how weird this cave looks. What even is the stuff on these walls? Do I wanna know? Also, the music we're hearing right now is used in a secret location later in the game. We will be hearing it for quite a while, because this is a pretty big level and that place is pretty big too. It says, in case of emergency, break glass with wrench. Hold on. This one says, use rock to break glass to get wrench to break glass to get rock. Ooh, I love logic puzzles. Let's see, if you break the glass with the- Solved it. Your wrench now does more damage. Yep, we got a wrench upgrade. That never happened in the first game. Also, these things have binary on them. But I was told that the Dan Johnson binary, or at least according to my research, the Dan Johnson binary was in Canal City. So I'm going to go ahead and believe it. Yeah, we've still got a bit of a ways to upgrade our weapons, but I have a feeling that a couple of our weapons are going to be fully upgraded by the time we finish this level. Because man, do we have a lot to do here. And man, do these guys take a lot of hits. I'm gonna get some synthenoids out here, those will be helpful. I also want to know if you actually can get ammo for them. I don't know why I'm thinking that you can't, like from normal boxes. For some reason it just feels uh, like something in my memory is telling me that you can't, but I'm probably mixing them up with something else. Alright, we're just about out of this cave here. These are the last enemies in the cave. Really, that one just needed one more shot? Okay, whatever. So we make a big glide down here and we will never be able to return to that cave again. experiment now I can't do that you have three seconds one two three <laughs> whoa he's a uh, she this changes nothing where's the experiment we have returned it to mr. Fizz widget oh, you've just put the whole galaxy in imminent danger but but I don't have time to stand around explaining it to you if you have any intention of fixing the mess you've made, watch this. Oh no! Good thing that wasn't little Susie. Here at the Megacorp testing facility, we make sure the products you buy are safe for you and your family. These are just a few of the products we've rejected to help keep you safe. The Tiny Tot Slingshot, the Nuclear Mousetrap, Self-Wedgifying Underwear, and the Lawn Ninjas. 
So the next time your toaster doesn't explode in your face, say a little thank you to the Megacorp testing facility. Wow, she's got a few bolts loose. What does a testing facility have to do with galactic danger? I am unsure. However, I believe we should investigate that location. Well, we're gonna need a new ship. Now, I don't think that the surprising part should be that he is actually a she. I think that the surprising part should be that she is a Lombax. This is the first time in Ratchet's memory that he has seen another Lombax, but they haven't really... Yeah, Insomniac didn't really write that part of the story yet, so... Yeah, anyways, well, that looks like our ship. That's definitely not where it was when Fizzwidget squashed it, but whatever. It looks like it's in rough shape. Oh. Oh. Hello, sir. Hey, that's my ship. Possession is an illusion. Do not all things belong to the cosmos? Uh, no. That's definitely mine. This vessel suffers from wounded chai. Only the power of the crystals can hope to heal it. Crystals, sir? Crystals? Like those found in the desert? Beyond. Oh. Oh. Well, we don't have any better ideas. Let's go grab a few crystals. You need ten crystals to repair the ship. Yes, I do indeed. And these crystals, oh boy, and also... That mission text is glitching, and... The symbols on the map are going off the top of the map. Why does that happen? I think this is another case of my game breaking the more I play it. Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't always that way. I think it has been that way before, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't always that way. Anyways, so our next mission here, return crystals to Mystic. And then there's another path over there where we can just explore the area. So yeah, let's go collect a few crystals. Now, if you look on the map here, this is a massive area, and this part here is separate from the outer part, so just to keep things simple, let's go collect all the crystals in this small part. And in order to do that, we gotta go across the bridge. By the way, there's a nanotech boost on top of that pillar. How the heck do you get that safely? We'll see later. So now, there are gonna be a ton of enemies around us here. For the most part, we are gonna just wanna ignore them. We will probably die a lot in this level. But yeah, this place is just completely littered with massive amounts of enemies. It's best to break open these crystals with hyper strikes, because that deals more damage. Now, you see that? A little bit of rubble there? Yeah, a massive enemy comes out of there. And unlike the rest of these enemies, we actually want to fight this guy. Why do we want to fight this guy? Because he has a crystal. So yeah, we are going to want to destroy all of these crystal things here. And we are going to want to defeat all of those enemies. And yeah, we are going to die a ton. Now, if my memory is correct, there are 12 crystals in this little area. Now, 
Now we don't want to go across that rock bridge there because that goes over to the big area. That rock bridge as well. And we have fully upgraded our mini turret glove to the mega turret glove. Oh, that was such a nice nanotech boost. I needed the health so bad. And that took out my enemies. For some reason, it seemed like there was a purple glow over that way. And I was thinking there might have been a crystal over there. But that was not the case. So if my uh, memory is correct, these should be the last two crystals in this tiny area. And there we go. All the crystals in this little area have been collected. And we can now return... Uh, we have two more crystals than we need to get our ship repaired. And we'll, we'll just pick up some ammo while we're here, too. Did I even show off the Mega Turret Glove? I mean, I'm sure we'll have to use it more out in the desert. But, yeah, let's get our ship fixed. Yes. The crystals are spiking the money with a single voice. Oh, oh. Oh. That was pretty impressive. Bring me more crystals, and I'll pay you cold hard bolts. Huh? Oh. You can earn fast amounts of bolts by exploring the desert and finding crystals. So yeah, from this point on, we get a thousand bolts per crystal. And there are a hundred crystals in the desert. We had to use ten to repair our ship. So that means we can get 90,000 bolts from just going out into the desert and collecting crystals. Which, by the way, you have to do in order to get one of the skill points. You have to get all of the crystals. So yeah, that's a thing that we're gonna have to do. I'm not sure if the next video is gonna be entirely dedicated to the desert or not. But we're pretty much done with this video. There's also this path here. I'm not sure if we're going to make it to this point in the next video or not. Part of me feels like I should take this path first. But part of me also kind of thinks that the desert is going to take so long that maybe that all should just be its own video. Uh... I don't know, but we are going to do something about this here in the next video. Uh, so I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.